okay so good morning all of you today we are going to practice sums okay <coughs> so write down basics last class so take out your assignment from the assignment we will move from back okay we are going to start from question number 66 we are going to start from question number 66 okay all of you start reading the question all of you start reading the question fast start reading and try to solve the question fast all of you will switch on the cameras samriddhi vaidya totally totally irresponsible you are not coming for the physical class what is this no voice is coming type in the chat box vaibhav vadva varuni goel switch on the camera fast Okay no problem Okay so they are saying that a lottery ticket that a lottery ticket cost rupee uh, basically pound 1 okay probability of winning is given price is given time before payment is given like basically what they mean to say is if you won a small price you are going to get the price just the next day basically the waiting time period is one day and what is probability like basically how does a lottery work so prizes like 1 crore 5 crore are given to only one person and for example if one uh, one lakh tickets are sold if one lakh tickets are sold and basically any ticket number can win the contest so it is equally likely that any person will win okay so basically the probability will be 1 by 1 lakh and if they for example in total if there are 1 lakh tickets and they, they will give a prize of uh, 1000 to 20 persons okay so again basically out of 1 lakh 20 persons are going to get the prize so the probability will be 20 by 1 lakh it is like that it is very simple favorable by total okay favorable by total and they have given us effective interest rate per day per day so if it is one day then we are going to pull it back for one day and 0.016% 0.016% means what 0.0016 yes or no okay so it's very simple now we need to pull back the cash flow what is the cash flow let's start with 20 wait now let's start with 20 then it is 200 then it is 2000 then it is 2 lakh and then it is what tell me 20 lakh okay into 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 So now, if you see, probability of winning is what? One by fifty, one by one thousand, one by fifty thousand, ah, one by twenty lakh, and one by fourteen million. How much is fourteen million? One forty lakhs. So one forty double zero triple zero again. 
into 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 we need to calculate the expected present value so expected present value whenever they use the word expectation we will also be using the concept of probability basically cash flow into probability into discounting factor okay so what is the discounting factor in one day it is v v in one week it is v to the power 7 in two weeks it is v to the power 14 and in four weeks it is v to the power 28 very simple and what is v tell me what is v v is 1 by 1.00016 clear solve start solving thomas is it okay yes sir hmm. All of you will solve the question. Now for the next two days, no class. You need to revise and you need to practice this full assignment. For the first time, we have made 100% changes in the teaching pattern. We are having chapter wise assignment also, past exam question also. So you all don't need to refer the material. Because we have included 100% whatever questions are important from the CM1 material. So I am lessening your work, but you all should be watching all the classes, the latest ones. Okay. And be smart in your approach. If the backup was not uploaded one day ago, then you could have gone to the previous batch recording and you could have watched the class. But few people are going on commenting, where is the class? Where is the class? It might happen sometime that the class needs some more processing time. So why have I given you the recording of the previous batch and it is also equally good. So be smart in your approach when the, you see that the backup is not getting uploaded. You can just go and we can watch the backup. Na? You already have 100% of the recording topic wise it is given. Is the discounting factor correct? It's correct na? 0.00016 This was question number 66 Next question number 67 Now this is a speed check Wait, wait I have designed an MCQ test for you In the group Shraddha has sent the MCQ form Okay, like basically I am telling MCQ Basically mock test platform uh, Those who haven't filled their details Please fill the details by today. You all will be getting your login ID and password credentials for the mock test platform in your mail ID. Okay, so put the mail ID and all the details correctly. And this Sunday we are going to publish the first test, which is basically till equations of value. Okay, don't worry, practice for two days and give test. Weekly test we are going to conduct. Okay. Question number 67. A woman has invested some money in a company. Yes. Do we need to sum all of them? Obviously, Vaibha Vadva. How will you get the expectation? Expectation is summation. Okay. A woman has invested some money in a company run by some ex-criminals. In return for the investment, she expects to receive 100 at the end of each of the next 10 years. The annual effective rate is 5%. Okay. Calculate the present value of our investment by ignoring the possibility that the payments might not be made. Basically, they have told that all the cash flows are certain. All the cash flows are certain. Now, part 1. It's very simple. 100 A10 at the rate what? At the rate what? 5%. Please calculate. Assuming the probability of receiving the first payment is 0 0.95, the second payment is 0 0.9 and the third payment is 0 0.85 etc. So, basically, see what we'll do. So now I am drawing a timeline. Don't, 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 uh, don't start. Wait. First listen and then I will give you time. First listen the concept. So they are saying that there are 10 payments in total. 
ओके नाउ ईच पेमेंट इज सपोज टू बी हंड्रेड ईच पेमेंट इज सपोज टू बी हंड्रेड ये और नो ईच पेमेंट इज सपोज टू बी नाउ दे आर सेंग दैट द प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ गेटिंग द फर्स्ट पेमेंट इज जीरो पॉइंट नाइन फाइव सो वॉट डू दे मीन बाई इट दे आर मीनिंग दैट द एक्सपेक्टेड कैश फ्लो इज नाइंटी फाइव हाउ डू यू कैलकुलेट द एक्सपेक्टेड कैश फ्लो कैश फ्लो इन टू द प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ गेटिंग द कैश फ्लो नो फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई माइट गेट अ पेमेंट एट द एंड ऑफ सेवेंटीन ईयर ऑफ थ्री लैख रुपीज एंड द प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ गेटिंग द पेमेंट इज पॉइंट फाइव सो वॉट इज द एक्सपेक्टेड कैश फ्लो थ्री लैख इंटू पॉइंट फाइव वन पॉइंट फाइव लैक्स ओके सो हंड्रेड इंटू जीरो पॉइंट नाइन हंड्रेड इंटू जीरो पॉइंट एट फाइव एंड सो ऑन हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द लास्ट वन हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द लास्ट वन टेल मी सो बेसिकली द स्ट्रक्चर अगेन आई एम ड्रॉइंग इट द स्ट्रक्चर अगेन आई एम ड्रॉइंग इट इट विल बी जीरो वन टू थ्री डॉट 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 टेन सो इट विल बी नाइंटी फाइव नाइंटी एट्टी फाइव एंड सो ऑन सो बेसिकली द फर्स्ट टर्म ए पी सीरीज ए इज वॉट नाइंटी फाइव एन इज वॉट एन इज वॉट टेन एंड डी कॉमन डिफरेंस इज वॉट फाइव कॉमन डिफरेंस विल बी वॉट माइनस फाइव वेरी गुड टी इज माइनस फाइव यू नीड टू बी वेरी अटेंटिव इन द क्लास सो बेसिकली टी टेन टी टेन विल बी वॉट ए प्लस एन माइनस वन इन टू डी कैलकुलेट कैलकुलेट इट फास्ट फिफ्टी सो अगेन आई एम री राइटिंग इट हाउ डू वी री राइट इट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ लेवल एंड इंक्रीजिंग जीरो वन टू थ्री डॉट 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 टेन सो नाइंटी फाइव विल बी रिटर्न एज हंड्रेड माइनस फाइव इंटू वन हंड्रेड माइनस फाइव इंटू टू हंड्रेड माइनस फाइव इंटू थ्री डॉट 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 हंड्रेड माइनस फाइव इंटू टेन क्लियर सो बेसिकली हंड्रेड इज लेवल एंड फाइव इज सिंपल इंक्रीज ओके सो हाउ डू वी सॉल्व दिस हाउ डू वी सॉल्व दिस दिस इज हंड्रेड ए टेन माइनस फाइव आई ए आई ए टेन मीन्स वॉट सिंपल इंक्रीज एनविटी ऑफ फाइव सो दिस इज हाउ वी सॉल्व दीज काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन ओके नाउ सॉल्व इट नाउ सॉल्व द फर्स्ट टू पार्ट अब बेसिकली वी एक्सप्रेस इट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ सिंपल इंक्रीज ओनली लाइक फाइव इट इज सिंपल डिक्रीज बट वी एक्सप्रेस इट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ आई ए एन ओनली आई ए इज सिंपल इंक्रीज बट इट इज इन माइनस फ्रॉम डे वन वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू लीव यू ऑल ओके From day one, our target is to basically kill the fear of exams. So, if we give roughly forty mock tests in the whole term, it will be really good. and all the test will be in the mcq format the main reason for mcq format is uh, you will get your instant results when we take the exam in the subjective format it takes a, it takes roughly 10 days to check the paper so now whenever you submit your test at that point of time only you will be basically getting all the results okay आज और कल में उड़ेगा नहीं अब की बार एंड इन द थर्ड पार्ट दे आर सेइंग इंक्रीजिंग द फोर्स ऑफ इंटरेस्ट बाय पॉइंट जीरो फोर सिक्स फाइव टू तो व्हाट इज द करंट फोर्स ऑफ इंटरेस्ट we need to calculate i is what 
फाइव परसेंट तो एल एन वन पॉइंट जीरो फाइव इज द करेंट फोर्स ऑफ इंटरेस्ट एंड इन दैट वी आर गोइंग टू एड पॉइंट जीरो फोर सिक्स फाइव टू तो प्लीज कैलकुलेट द न्यू डेल्टा न्यू डेल्टा प्लीज कैलकुलेट द न्यू डेल्टा फास्ट ln 1.05 is the current delta we will add 0.04652 how much is it so our new delta is 0.09 Five three one, and for this new delta, we need to basically calculate I. So, e to the power this is what one point zero nine nine nine. Basically, I is ten percent. You need to have a good hold on the formulas, or else you will not be able to solve it. So, from the old delta, we added the thing that they are going to tell. and then we calculated the new delta and for the new delta we are calculating the new i because the payment is annually in arrears we need i not delta so our final answer will be 100 a 10 at the rate 10% please solve the first two questions that i have given solve it if someone needs to copy they can copy this I'm giving you all five minutes of time. Start. So for the second part, it was basically 95v plus 90v square plus 85v cube plus dot 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 50v to the power 10. This was the expansion. So we yes. explain first part of the question again. First part of the question. So we explain first part of the question. Yes, sir. Yeah, they are saying that the woman has invested uh, in some company, and she expects to receive hundred at the end of each of the next ten years. So basically, it is level annuity of hundred for ten years. So hundred a ten. Okay. Okay. Okay, sir.
Okay, come on, everybody. Next question. An investor deposits 2000 into an account, then withdraws level annual payments starting one year after the deposit is made. Immediately after the 11th annual withdrawal, the investor has 400 left in the account. These kinds of questions are very good. Calculate the amount of each withdrawal given that the effective annual rate of interest is 8%. Okay. So basically what is happening is at time zero, he is, uh, he or she is depositing 2000. Okay. And, uh, then withdraws level annual payments starting one year after the deposit is made. So at time one, he is withdrawing X at time two, he is withdrawing X at time three, he is withdrawing X dot, dot, dot. Immediately after the 11th annual withdrawal, here also he has withdrawn X. So after the withdrawal, the balance left in the account is 400. Okay. Calculate the amount of each withdrawal given that the effective annual rate of interest is 8%. So I is also given to be 8%. Now it's very simple. Equation of value tells us that present value of outflow will be equal to present value of inflow. So basically depositing 2000 is the outflow and how to match it with the inflow. What is the inflow? X he is withdrawing for 10 for 11 years. Okay. Present value X, 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 X is withdrawing for the next 11 years. And also 400 is there in the account. 400 is there in the account at the end of 11th year. Now we need to solve for X. It is very simple. Solve it. Semi-annually means in one year, two times. Semi-annual means half yearly. Yes. Half yearly also, half yearly means what? Half yearly. Half yearly means what? Six months, six months. Semi-annually also means six months, six months. Question number 59. What is the value of X? 256.12. Question number 59. An annuity is payable annually in advance for a term of 20 years. The payment is 500 in year one 
550 in year 2 and so on increasing by 50 each year calculate the present value of this annuity assuming that the effective rate of interest is 5% for the first 12 years ok so 0 12 20 so for the first 12 years it is 5% and 7% thereafter so this is basically interest rate timeline and now the payments timeline so advance so at time 0 they are paying 500 so 500 and at time 1 it is 550 time 2 it is 600 so the last payment will be at time 19 at time 20 there will be no payment now we'll break this down since there is an increase so how will we write it 450 plus 50 into 1 450 plus 50 into 2 dot 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 at time 19 it will be 450 plus 50 into 20 and at time 20 there will be no payment clear everyone now we also need at time 12 because there is an interest rate change so at time 12 it will be 450 plus 50 into 12 clear everyone at time 11 I'm really sorry I'm really sorry at time 11 very good at time 11 it will be uh, 450 plus 50 into 12 okay so how we will do is we'll do for the first 12 years and then for the next 8 years okay so for the first 12 years I am doing this for the first 12 years it will be 450 A12 plus 50 450 ADU 12 don't copy plus 50 IADU 12 now this is for the first 12 years okay I A D U is for 50 now we also need uh, from 12th year onwards what is the amount this is let's say suppose 12 and this is 19 so from 12 to 19 there will be 8 more payments so the payment amount will be 450 plus 50 into 13 right don't copy don't copy 450 plus how much is it 450 plus 50 into 13 450 plus 50 into 13 how much is it 1100 so again we'll break down 1100 we'll write it 1050 plus 50 into 1 at time 13 it will be 1050 plus 50 into 2 and at time 19 it will be 1050 plus 50 into 8 clear because at time 19 there is a 8 payment so again what we can do is present value this is present value at time 0 and this is present value at time 12 yeah. so it will be 1050 ADU 8 plus 50 IADU 8 ok and then again this will be evaluated at the rate this will be evaluated at the rate 7% this will be evaluated at the rate 5% and then again we need to bring this whole thing we need to bring this whole thing V0 uh, 12 and this will be evaluated at the rate 5% please solve please solve this is how you decode the question and it can only come through practice nothing else Last work is question number 48, 49, 
51. These three sums are classwork after this. If it is an increasing one, then we'll decrease by that amount and then we'll make. And if it is a decreasing one, then we'll increase by that amount and then we'll make. So that basically it becomes level plus or minus simple increase like kind of thing.
ओके तो क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी एट Calculate the present value of a series of ten annual payments. ये कुछ शीट नहीं मिला है ना? शीट कैसे ले लो? अभी जा. Calculate the present value of a series of ten annual payments, where the first payment is five hundred made in one year's time, and each payment is hundred higher than the previous one. Assume an effective interest rate of eight percent. So, zero, one, two, dot, 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 ten. If nothing is told, then what we'll do is we'll assume payment is in arrears. Okay. What is the first payment? Actually, they have said made in one year's time. So basically, it is arrears only. Okay. So 500 and each payment increase is 100. So we'll do 400 plus 100 into 1. 400 plus 100 into 2. And dot dot dot. The last payment will be 400 plus 100 into 10. Okay. Effective rate of interest is 8 percent. So now we can say we need to calculate the present value. So it will be 400 a 10 plus. Hundred I A ten copy. Similarly, question number forty nine. Calculate the present value of payments of fifty at time zero. Fifty at time zero means what? Advance. Very good. Sixty at time one, seventy at time two, and so last payment is at time. The last payment is at time ten years means how many payments? Eleven. Because tenth year is the beginning of the eleventh year. Okay. Interest rate is given. And it is also increase. So how we will do? Directly I am doing it. Question number forty nine. Directly I am doing it. How to solve this? Tell me. Forty, forty A D U eleven plus ten I A D U eleven. Clear everyone? Okay. At the rate, at the rate what? Four point two percent. Okay. All of you will switch on the cameras. No one will switch off the camera. No one. From day one, I am telling you, the student who will give all the mocks in our platform, they will be rewarded some special discounts in the next paper that they take. So if a student is appearing, I don't want that you should top the mock exam. But if you are appearing for the mock test, at least you will feel good. Okay. Now you all can practice. You all must have got a compiler. At the back side of it, my achievements are written and all my rankers are given. So you will solve booklet two. Okay, not booklet one. Booklet two, you will solve in full at home. I am giving you all time. Don't worry. You have two days of time. Practice this assignment and that booklet also. Okay. Two days, two things. Question number fifty-one. Rent on a property is payable continuously for five years. The rent in the first year is three thousand. Thereafter, the annual rent increases by five hundred. Very simple. Calculate the present value of the rent at the start of five years using an annual effective. Listen, payable continuously, but the increase is simple. So I A above bar, not I A whole bar. No, I the increase is discrete, but the payment is. So the first year the rent is three thousand, and each year increases five hundred. So how are we going to write it? Two thousand five hundred plus five hundred into one, two thousand five hundred plus five hundred into two, and so on for five years. Okay, so what it will be? Two thousand five hundred a bar five plus five hundred i a bar five. Which rate? Which rate? Tell me. Which rate? Six percent. Okay. 
क्लियर एवरी वन वेरी गुड नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी टू अ मैन मेक्स पेमेंट्स इनटू एन इन्वेस्टमेंट अकाउंट ऑफ टू हंड्रेड एट टाइम फाइव वन नाइंटी एट टाइम सिक्स एंड सो ऑन अंटिल अ पेमेंट ऑफ हंड्रेड एट टाइम फिफ्टीन सो द पेमेंट इज स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम टाइम फाइव एंड इट इज कंटिन्यूइंग टिल टाइम फिफ्टीन सो हाउ मेनी पेमेंट इलेवन 11 payments okay assuming an annual effective interest rate of 3.5% calculate the present value of the payments at time 4 at time 0 and then accumulated value very simple so i'm drawing the timeline this is 0 this is 4 this is 5 this is 6 dot 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 this is 15 so the payments are increasing or decreasing decreasing so we'll increase the amount so the first payment will be what 210 minus 10 into 1 210 minus 10 into 2. The last payment is at time 15. So it will be 210 minus 10 into 11 until a payment of 100 is done. So it is 100 only. Match. Okay. So we need to calculate. Now I am standing here. So how does it look? Arrears. Very good. Excellent. in the previous batches i asked this question i said how does it look okay good you should think like me na you should think ki what is being taught so 210 a 11 minus 10 i a 11 
okay this is part 1 answer at the rate 3.5% again part 2 we just need to do what b to the power 4 and for part 3 what we need to do for part 3 1 plus i to the power 15 solve now our objective will be to complete till equations of value in paper a and paper b also so now i will not have classes for some time shivangi ma'am will be having the classes so we will move side by side paper a also paper b also okay i will take the doubts so that we are very clear in concepts till equations of value and like basically cm1 is divided into four parts let me give you a brief overview about the syllabus so if you see we have done till equations of value so after this we are left with four practical chapters so till equations of value is basics now whatever we have studied we need to apply it in loan schedule project appraisal bonds and term structure so it will roughly take me 15 classes okay to complete the first part of cm1 once i complete the doubts then 15 more classes and we are done with 50% it is like that okay next question number 50 a man agrees to make investments continuously for the next 10 years payment is continuous he decides that he can afford to invest 20t what i said when i used the term ia whole bar was t that at time t the person is going to make a payment of t and that is how we came with the integration 0 to n tv to the part t dt correct so now they are saying 20t so 20 is a constant which can come outside the integration and we have already solved this the answer is what a bar n minus n v to the power n by what delta okay so they are asking us to calculate the present value of the investment at time 0 so this will be what 20 i a whole bar 10 okay so what is the answer 20 a bar 10 minus 10 v to the power 10 by delta So delta is what ln one plus i, right? They have given us effective interest rate, ln one point zero three seven. Clear? Solve this, and then they are asking to calculate the accumulated value. So into one point zero three seven to the power ten. Solve.
which all sums have been done in 41, 42, 43? Check. Which all sums have we done in 41, 42 or 43? Please answer the question. 41 is done. 42, 43 not done. So we'll do 42 and 43 class work. Start. I'm giving you all time. Now I'm giving you all time, start with 42 and 43. Calculate the present value. Question number 42. Calculate the present value on 1st June 2019 of payments of 1000 payable on the first day of each month from July 2019 to December. So July to December is 6 months. Okay. Inclusive assuming interest rate of 8% per annum convertible quarterly. So they given us I4. I4 is what? 0 0.08. Okay. And I am standing on 1st June. The payments are from basically I am writing June matlab 1st June. If I am writing June, this means 1st June. Okay. So June, July, dot dot dot, December. Okay. So how does it look? Though the payments are in advance, but it looks in arrears. This is the beauty of the question. If you just do mugging up that it is first, so it will be advanced. No. How does it look? Arrears. Okay. So it's very simple. It's 1000 A6 at the rate I12 by 12. So calculate 1.08. Wait, wait, wait. In a quarter, how many months? Three months. So 1.08 to the power 1 by 3. 1.02 this is the quarterly effective no this is not the quarterly effective rate of interest this is the quarter accumulation factor so to the power 1 by 3 minus 1 now solve this is the monthly effective rate of interest how are we making the equation it is 1 plus i4 by 4 is equal to 1 plus I12 by 12 to the power 3 because one quarter accumulation factor 
with one quarter accumulation factor. In a quarter, there are three months. If I just write here four, then this will be into four. This is what year year. Solve one point zero two to the power one by three minus one. You need to be smart. You need to be attentive. One point zero two to the power one by three minus one. So it is point double zero six six. Point double zero six six. Clear. Solve. This will be one thousand one minus one point double zero six six to the power minus six by point double zero six six. Question number forty-three. An annuity provides payments of forty at the end of each month forever. When we mean forever, this means what? Perpetuity. Forty at the end of every month. So forty into twelve will be the annual amount, and it is at the end of each month. So so in the denominator we are going to get I twelve. Very simple. If the interest rate is ten percent per annum convertible quarterly, so it is I four is given as point one. From here we need to solve for I twelve and we'll get the answer. Call for it. If the question language would have been forty at the start of each month forever, then in the denominator we would have done D twelve. Very good. Solve these two questions, and after this you need to solve question number thirty three. Class work.
क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी थ्री डन अ सीरीज ऑफ पेमेंट्स ऑफ वन एट टाइम वन फोर एट टाइम टू नाइन एट टाइम थ्री एंड सो ऑन अप टू हंड्रेड एट टाइम टेन हैज अ प्रेजेंट वैल्यू ऑफ टू फोर्टी फाइव तो बेसिकली दे आर सेंग दैट द पेमेंट इज इन आर इयर्स ओके सो वी कैन से दैट पेमेंट इज इन आर इयर्स एंड दे हैव गिवेन एज द प्रेजेंट वैल्यू टू फोर्टी फाइव पॉइंट थ्री टू evaluated effective interest rate 6% now they are saying instead of paying at the end of year the payment will be made in three installments so let's say suppose if we say that the payment is annually in arrear then we use the formula an then we use the formula an which is what 1 minus b to the power n by i now let's say suppose if the payment is an 3 this means what in a year there are three payments so this will be 1 minus b to the power n by i3 they have given us this from this we need to calculate this so what we can do is if this an is multiplied by i by i3 then we can get what an3 so they have given us this thing which is the present value if the payment is made in arrears we will multiply it by i by i3 to get this when the payment is made in three equal installments in a year okay so basically we are going to calculate i3 when i is what 0.06 so it will be 1.06 to the power 1 by 3 minus 1 whole into 3 first calculate this and what we'll do is 245 point 245 point 245 point 245 point into 0.06 by 2.06 so this is question number 33 previously the payment was made annually in arrear now they are saying the payment is being made four monthly so it is what an3 so if you multiply an into i by i3 we get an3 so what is the final answer please tell and check Two fifty point three two. Very good. Two fifty point three two. All of you are getting the answer. So let me ask one more related question. So if they say that previously. now one more thing that you see is if i write an and if i write an3 in both the things the annual rate of payment is one only and we are working in annual so the rate of payment you cannot change okay this you should keep in mind so now let's say suppose if instead of being paid annually in arrear now they are paying quarterly in advance then what will happen from annually in arrear if they are saying quarterly in advance then what will happen basically they will give us the value of an 
फ्रॉम हेयर वी नीड टू कैलकुलेट ए डी यू एन फोर सो हेयर इट इज वन माइनस वी टू दर एन बाई आई हेयर इट इज वन माइनस वी टू दर एन बाई डी फोर सो वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डू इज विल मल्टीप्लाई दिस बाई आई बाई डी फोर सो वी आर सेंग दैट ए एन वेन मल्टीप्लाइड बाई आई बाई डी फोर कैन बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू ए डी यू एन फोर क्लियर एवरी वन येस और नो So copy this also. A n into i by d four is a d u n four. A n into i by d four is a d u n four. क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी फाइव कैलकुलेट द प्रेजेंट वैल्यू एज एट फर्स्ट जून टू थाउजेंड एटीन ऑफ फोर्टी वन मंथली पेमेंट्स ईच ऑफ हंड्रेड कमेंसिंग फर्स्ट जनवरी टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन ओके व्हाट इज द गैप फर्स्ट जून फर्स्ट जून मींस फाइव मंथ्स हैव गॉन सेवन मंथ्स आर लेफ्ट जून जुलाई फ्रॉम जुलाई टू डिसम्बर इट इज सिक्स मंथ्स एंड इफ यू इंक्लूड जून ऑल्सो इट सेवन मंथ सो प्लीज रिमेंबर दिस पेमेंट इज फ्रॉम फर्स्ट जनवरी अज्यूमिंग अ रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट ऑफ टेन परसेंट फोर्टी वन पेमेंट दे आर सेंग सो फर्स्ट आई एम गोइंग टू स्टैंड एट वन वन नाइनटीन ओनली ओके आई एम स्टैंडिंग हेयर How does it look? Advance because the payment is also from first Jan nineteen. Forty one payments of how much? Hundred eight U forty one. Where will I get the present value at first Jan two thousand nineteen? And they have asked us to calculate the present value on. We will work in months only, so it will be V to the power seven. Okay, now we have given the rate. 10% per annum convertible half yearly this means what i2 is given as 0.1 we need to calculate i12 by 12 so i am making the equation 1.05 to the power 1 by 6 minus 1 did you all understand 1.05 is the accumulation factor for one half year in one half year there are 6 months in one half year there are 6 months okay so to the power 1 by 6 minus 1 what equation are we going to make look at that also We are going to make one plus i two by two is equal to one plus i twelve by twelve whole to the power six. Solve. And after this, do question number forty six, class work.
क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी सिक्स पेमेंट्स ऑफ वन थाउजेंड पर एन एम आर पेबल क्वार्टरली इन अरियर्स नाउ दे हैव टू स्टेट द क्वेश्चन नाउ द पेमेंट इज वन थाउजेंड पर एन एम आर पेबल क्वार्टरली इन अरियर्स फ्रॉम वन वन ट्वेंटी टू थर्टी वन ट्वेल्व ट्वेंटी फाइव फ्रॉम वन वन ट्वेंटी सो फॉर हाउ मेनी ईयर्स रॉन्ग सिक्स ईयर्स वन वन ट्वेंटी सो ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव The annual effective rate of interest is three point four percent for calendar years. Okay, wait, wait. Twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three. So four years, the rate of interest is three point four, and then it is four point two. Calculate the present value of the payments. Simple. So one thousand quarterly in arrear, right? So. 1000 a 64 wrong 1000 a 44 at the rate 3.4 percent plus b to the power 4 at the rate 3.4 percent a 42 at the rate 4.2 percent. Okay, solve it, and then for the next part we'll do into seven years, seven years. So one point zero three four to the power four, one point zero four two to the power three. Solve it. This is the last question for today, and we'll solve this full assignment. Now there will be no class tomorrow and day after. There might be class for there might be class for paper uh, <coughs> B, but now we'll totally focus on the topic still equations of value, and you all need to practice this assignment and. Additionally, what you all need to do is, you all need to solve compiler. Okay, solve compiler booklet two. Till now, I haven't prescribed you all using table books, so don't use it. I'll tell from when we will we will we, uh, we will use the table book. Okay, now practice and practice and practice. Thank you all of you.